Hello, this is Mike Kaufman, the author of the Motor Oil Bible, and uh, you're watching the video uh, lecture called What Viscosity Should I Use? And I recommend that you do not choose your motor oil viscosity until you see this video because there's a lot of confusion regarding motor oil viscosity and oftentimes the information you find online isn't exactly uh, on par with the actual truth. Now, before we get started with the meat of this video, I need to give the necessary disclaimer. Unfortunately, it is necessary for me to issue a disclaimer indicating that the information I'm providing you in this video is for entertainment purposes only. By watching the remainder of this video and or putting into practice any of its recommendations, you are releasing me from any and all liability that may result. Although I am a professional in the area of lubrication and filtration, you are advised to research these issues fully before deciding to implement any of my suggestions and your decision is ultimately your own and releases me of all liability. Now, how to choose a viscosity. It's a very common question that people ask me, um, you know, what viscosity motor oil should they be using in their engine? So uh, let's go ahead and discuss it. Uh, first of all, viscosity is an often misunderstood property of motor oils and recommendations that are given are often misguided and uh, based on false information and that includes, unfortunately, uh, recommendations that are often given by mechanics and even quick lube shops. Um, it's too complex of a, of a topic for a 10 minute video. Uh, the truth is trying to fully explain viscosity in this short 10 minute video is really impossible. But I'm going to give you the basics which should suffice for most people. Um, the, the first thing is uh, should I go heavy or should I go light? And uh, often people are confused about whether to use the viscosity recommended by their vehicle manufacturer or whether to possibly go heavier or go lighter. Um, and the truth is, it's a little bit muddy. Um, since viscosity numbers are based on a kinematic viscosity range, one 5W30 oil is not necessarily the exact same viscosity as another 5W30. Um, there's actually quite a lot of variance. In fact, technically, the difference in true viscosity between one 5W30 and another could actually be nearly two SAE viscosity grades. Um, and I know that doesn't make any sense, and in truth, I don't really have time in this short video to, to truly explain that concept in full detail, so you're going to have to just kind of trust me on that one. Um, it, it is an actual fact that that, that is true. Um, so what's the point? Well, the point is, because there is so much variance in the actual motor oil thickness, even within an actual SAE viscosity grade, it's important to realize these are rough numbers. Um, close is good enough. You don't need to get yourself too stressed over this issue. But there are some good rules of thumbs, uh, rules of thumb that you can stick with. And um, the first one is plus or minus one viscosity grade. Unless you really know what you're doing and really have a reason to do so, never move up or down more than one viscosity grade from what is suggested by your vehicle manufacturer. Now, what I'm talking about is the number that follows the W in a multigrade viscosity. So if 5W30 is recommended, a 5W20 or 5W40 oil would generally be acceptable options. Now, what about number one? In other words, the number before the W. Um, that number is only really relevant to cold temp driving. Um, the colder it is, the more you should adhere to that number uh, provided by the vehicle manufacturer or even possibly go lower. Um, the hotter it is, or the more extreme you're driving, say you're pulling heavy loads or you're doing a lot of stop and go driving, um, the more you should consider possibly moving up one or two notches on the scale. In other words, move from a 5W to possibly a 10W or even a 15W oil, depending upon the severity of the heat and stress that your engine and or your oil is under. Uh, now, if confusion abounds, kiss. Keep it simple. Um, stick with the viscosity that your vehicle manufacturer suggests. 
at least if the engine blows, they can't exactly complain, complain about the oil viscosity that you used. And by the way, that's a joke. Um, honestly, unless you really mess this up, your engine is not going to blow. The worst that's likely to happen is that your, you know, your MPGs maybe go down a little bit or engine wear maybe goes up a hair, but it's not that extreme of an issue. Just remember the basics. Um, remember the basics that I put forth in this video. Go ahead and watch it again if you want. It's not super complicated. Or if you really want to understand viscosity, get a copy of the Motor Oil Bible. It's really going to be a, a very useful resource.